Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Arcanum. Um, last time, Drake had leveled up, and he's got a new point to spend, so I'm going to go ahead and put that into Persuasion. Alright, uh, let's talk to this uh, dwarf outside of Skylar and Sons. Greetings, friend. I don't believe we've met. Your name is? Who might you be to ask a dwarf his name? Bloody ignorant outlander, I'd say. As if a dwarf would give his name. Uh, forgive me, I wasn't aware it was such a breach in etiquette. Excuse me, you don't need to take such treatment from this dwarf. Bloody annoying little runt, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, okay, your opinion has been noted, Virgil. I mean, look at him, putting on airs like he's some sort of native dwarf. I'd be surprised if he's ever even been out of the city in his entire life. You can always smell a city dwarf a mile away. Probably got a manicure. <laughs> His beard looks a bit scraggly, too. Okay, enough, Virgil. Uh, now, what seems to be the problem, sir? I was saying that it was bloody rude of you to be asking me, a dwarf, for his name. It's not something to be thrown out and away like the day's rubbish. <laughs> okay, he's he's got a bit of a temper. Um, again, forgive me, I wasn't aware it was a breach in etiquette. Hmm. I suppose you're none to blame, stranger. Perhaps I am a little quick-tempered myself. Please forgive my harsh words. You may call me Magnus. Uh, pleasure, sir. Uh, what were you saying about a dwarf's name? Well, dwarves are an ancient race, and our traditions run deep. A dwarf's true name, his family name, is a sacred thing. A thing of mystery and power. Magnus is my common name. If I knew you well, I'd also tell you my family name. But Magnus will do for now. Why are you so protective of your family name? Dwarven names are symbolic, a reflection of our history, who we are. A dwarf who gives just anyone his name has no respect for that history. I see. Uh, thank you for the lesson, Magnus. It's nice to meet an outlander who tries to understand our ways. Well met, my friend. Now, how can I help you? Might I ask you a few questions? What is it that you need to know? Do you know what establishment this is? Yes, I do. And I curse the day I ran across the devils who own it. Ungodly bunch they are. I can only guess what goes on behind those doors. That building is the headquarters for the infamous P. Skylar and Sons. What can you divulge about P. Skylar and Sons? What can I divulge, you ask? Where would you like me to begin? P. Skylar and Sons is the oldest business in Tarant, a trader in jewelry and the occasional rare or sought-after trinket or bauble. Their business reputation is untarnished, second to none. And yet there's something strange about them? Strange? Strange doesn't begin to describe what they are. Do you know that no one has seen the supposed owner, Polonius Schuyler, or his sons in more than 15 years? But even then, the gentleman who saw them, a trader in gems from Ireland, died later from what they could only describe as consumption. What else is said about them? Have you heard about the Eyeless Five? Eight years ago, there were five ruby pendants sold at auction through P. Skylar and Sons. All the ladies who wore them were murdered, their eyes plucked from their heads. Uh, that could very well have been a strange coincidence, Magnus. A coincidence? Stack bricks and you get a brick wall. <laughs> What else is a man to call it? No matter. Ask around. You'll find I'm not the only one who thinks something weird is going on behind those doors. Why would they want to kill their own customers? Why do madmen do anything? They're bloody madmen, that's why. If you're not going to use the sense you were born with, then I'll not continue. Suffice it to say that Peace, Skylar and Sons is an extremely unusual company. And I'm not the only one to think so. What else have you heard about them? Who knows what atrocities are committed within these walls? People swear they hear strange noises within the building when the sun sets. Clanking of chains, moanings, muffled screams. You see the symbol carved above their name, the bird with the snake's head. Do you know what it is? The Derianka, the ancient order of the dead. Okay, uh, there's a chance that we'll find out about the Derianka later on. Um, I seem to say that a lot, <laughs> that we'll be finding out things uh, much later in the game. Um, are, why are you waiting outside the store? Am I 
might ask you the same, my friend. You seem awfully curious about P. Skylar and Sons. What brings you here? I'm investigating a ring. It appears they were the sellers. Interesting. I, too, am investigating one of their products. I saw it for sale in a pawn shop down the merchant's quarter, and it had their imprint. Would you like to see it? Uh, sure. Okay, the dwarf shows you a rather plain-looking bronze bracelet with some faded scratchings barely visible along its outer surface. On the inside, you see the imprint of P. Skylar and Sons. Uh, what are these carvings? I can't quite make them out. Don't you see? There, a cross. And there, a sunburst. All of these are old dwarven characters, symbols in a lost language. These are landmarks in my people's history. Milestones for the Dwarven Age. What do you think is significant about this bracelet? Do you see these Dwarven gauntlets I wear? They were given to me by my grandfather, who in turn received them from his. Do you see the symbol carved on them? It's the same as the symbol carved on the bracelet. These gauntlets are the only link I possess to my ancestors, my clan, lost to my family since before any of us can remember. Uh, have you spoken with P. Skylar and Sons about it? That, my friend, is the point of this whole story. I've tried on multiple occasions to speak with the Skylars concerning this bracelet and where they got it. But I've been stonewalled by their employees from the very beginning. They're hiding something. I know it! What could they be possibly trying to conceal? The sources behind their inventory. The reasons for their reclusiveness. Who knows? But I do know. I'm gonna find out where they got this bracelet, regardless of what is necessary to do so. Well, uh, perhaps we could work together. Hmm. Perhaps. I do see some potential in them, <laughs> and you seem trustworthy. Done. Let us proceed and throw some light on this mystery. Well said. Uh, good to have you aboard, Magnus. Alright, so we've got a new follower. Uh, Magnus is... Like uh, Sog Mead Mug, he's going to level up um, as a melee fighter. However, he also uh, has an affinity for technology, and the disciplines that he concentrates on are the mechanical one, he's got a couple of points in there right now, and Smithy. And uh, his second rank in Smithy is the Balanced Sword, and that's why I've been collecting these ingredients which I've uh, stored on Mead Mug. So we want to get. Magnus doesn't have, uh, I don't think he has a weapon right now. Yeah, he's just got these gauntlets, mysterious dwarven gauntlets. And he does have some armor, luckily. Uh, but he doesn't have a weapon, so we want to get him to make a couple of balanced uh, swords. One for Mead Mug and one for himself. So in order to get your companions to make something, you uh, just get the ingredients that you need. These are all the ingredients we'll need for two swords. And then you talk to the companion. How can I help you? Okay, uh, what sorts of things can you make for me, Magnus? Oh, no, actually, sorry. <laughs> That's not the right order. You have to access your companion's inventory and then just put the ingredients in his inventory. And then you talk to your companion and ask them what they can make. So, here we go. How can I help you? Okay, what can you make? And that brings you to the crafting screen. You have tabs for each of the eight technological disciplines. So if we go to the smithy tab, we see the first rank, pure ore, and then you flip to the second rank and the balanced sword. The two ingredients for the balanced sword are the uh, the fine hilt and guard, and then pure ore. Uh, so we have no pure ore right now, but we put ingredients in to make uh, two bits of it. Okay, and then we go back, and now both are green, meaning we have both ingredients, so hit the button twice. And Magnus should have two balanced swords in his inventory. Okay, here's one, and he's already equipped the other one. And these are really, really good weapons. Um, they, uh, these two guys who are going to be wielding them are going to attack really, really fast with them. Uh, much more effectively. Uh, Mead Mug will be a lot more effective than he was with the Rapier. And let's see if Virgil wants to use the rapier. Okay, no, he's uh, pretty attached to his stick. Um, Alright, let's, uh, now that we're newly armed, let's head in and see what we can find out about the ring.
Hello, welcome to P. Schuyler and Sons, Dealers in the Rare and Beautiful. My name is James Kingsford. How might I help you? Uh, I'd like to talk with someone concerning this ring. What exactly can I help you with? Did you purchase the ring from P. Schuyler and Sons? Not exactly. I was given the ring by, uh, someone. I'm very sorry, but we don't guarantee the quality of our products unless they were purchased directly from us. Now, if there's nothing else, I really must get back to work. No, you don't understand. Perhaps if I spoke to Mr. Schuyler? I'm afraid that's quite impossible. The Schuylers are extremely busy men, and I know they can't be bothered with something as, trivially, as trivial as your concerns with a product you didn't even buy. Wait, I just need to find out who... I'm very glad you stopped by, though. Feel free to browse the store if you'd like. Have a good day. All right, well, that didn't work out very well. Um, let's, let's talk to him again. Okay. Uh, listen, Mr. Kingsford, I recommend you let me in here. Oh, really? On what grounds do you recommend that I let you in? I'm from the Tarantian authorities. We're doing an investigation. The, the authorities? Why? I see. Well, if that's the case, I demand to see your credentials, sir. You're in no position to demand anything. Open the damn doors. Uh, look, I have nothing to do with what goes on down there. I, I just work up here, watch the front door. What exactly is going on down there, Mr. Kingsford? No, I, I can't talk about it. Th they did something to me. If I tell you, then p please don't make me say anything more. Please, just take this and let me go. And he hands us the key to this door. All right, James, you can leave. I'll take care of this. Okay, and then he, he just gets the hell out of there. All right, so we can now go in. And there's nothing up here of any interest, but there's this trap door over here. So let's get Mr. Drake into his combat attire. And uh, throw up shields of protection. All right, let's head down. See what's in the basement. Okay, now, I want Magnus to back off, because I don't want him to take any damage. Uh, because of his technological affinity, uh, Virgil's healing spells won't work on him. Okay, and we've got zombies, and Magnus thinks this is some sort of dwarven burial ground. Okay, here come some more zombies. Okay, Sog, yeah, he's, he's going to do a really good job with that sword. Okay, more zombies amble their way over. Okay, and he just injured himself. Of course, as soon as I said that uh, he'd do an excellent job, and of course they're attacking Magnus now. Yeah, right after I said that uh, Sog would do a great job with the... Uh, the balance sword. He critically misses and injures himself. All right, let's get Magnus to back off again. Sure, I'll do it right away. Nope, Magnus, back off. All right, well, back off. Sure, I'll do it right away. Sometimes they they always uh. They won't always listen to you when you give commands. Combat's not really a, uh, a highlight of this game. <laughs> okay, here's the last one. Let's see if we can get him down quickly. Okay. And there's another uh, trap door leading down to further levels. There's some things to loot over here, um, but time's about to run out. So, when we return, we'll loot these uh, chests and barrels around this level, and then head down farther into the depths of the basement of P. Skyler and Sons. So, as always, thank you for watching, and please stay tuned.